So this week's topic was supplied to us by the new Tuesday. And I so am the type of person who's just like, I want to tell the whole movie when the new movie is out and just be like, this is how it ends. And I just want to tell you guys who the new Tuesday and Wednesday is. But mm, keep my lips sealed. And all I can say is, is that the choices that have been made, you're going to love them. And I can just can't wait to see your reactions to them. Um, with that being said, the new Tuesday topic and challenge is pretty hot, and it is the meaning of life. I don't know the meaning of life. So if I couldn't come up with anything, I think I might just do it upside down with my meaning to life. I think my meaning to life is actually... Oh my goodness, I think I'm about to fall. <laughs> I think my meaning to life is <laughs> it's hard to think upside down. I think my meaning to life is experience. You have to experience in order to live life. It's the difference between existing and living. If you're existing, what does life mean? Okay, break. I'm not going to be able to do that. To be honest, I think the meaning of life is experiencing. If you don't experience anything, how are you going to say that you're living? Existing and living is two different things, and I heard people say this before, and it's so true. One thing, one thing first. Don't live for anybody. Live for yourself, because you will be a lot happier when you're doing what you want to do. Fuck your mother, fuck your father, fuck your pastor, whoever who's trying to push you in a direction that you really don't want to go. If it's going to make you happy in the long run, that's what God wants for you. He wants you to be happy, so make yourself happy. And happiness, experience, and whatever else I said, that is my meaning to life. I wasn't able to give a proper send off to London or Invincible. And I have to say, is it's hard to see people go, but sometimes you have to do what you have to do. And London, I just have to say that I'm going to miss your style, you know. The fashionista you are, and you know your sly, cool, calm, and collected nature in <laughs> the phone conferences when you're kind of late. <laughs> and I'm just gonna miss you just being cool and being like fuck everything because you know I really like that. It's good to see that in people. And it was great seeing it in you. And not to mention, you totally, totally, totally rock the white streak. Ten times better than Rogue from X-Men. And Invincible, I'm going to miss you digging in my ass with so much enthusiasm, so much encouragement. Like, I never had anybody tell me, like, Rand, you need to get together. And just be so positive, upbeat, and so, like, not killing me. And I can't wait to just feel the wrath of Ty and Sean and the other two guys because I'm pretty sure that they're going to be digging to my ass too. But um, those two people really, 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 really helped create something fantastic. And hopefully the five of us, you know, the five second generation, we can basically bring that fire back because it's been missing for a while um none of us have ever been trying to hide that and i can see us doing that um signing off randorel fbg number four two <laughs> for thursday second generation and peace i'm out much love.